All right, we're here with uh, at the Azteca Boxing Club with Alfonso Gomez, who's preparing for uh, to face uh, Saúl Canelo Alvarez on September 17th at the Staples Center in Los Angeles. Uh, first, uh, first off, Alfonso, thank you for your time. Um, and first, let's talk a little bit about uh, about training camp. How's training camp going so far? Training camp is going great. Um, we ran mountains the first half of the training camp up there in Mount Baldy. Now we're down here doing sprints, uh, sparring 10 round sessions with hard and tough guys. So pretty much everything is good. You know, we're only three weeks away, so we're really excited. And uh, uh, of course, you just, uh, we ju I just finished you, uh, you finished sparring. And uh, like you said, with just three weeks uh, left until the fight, how do you feel right now? I feel fantastic. I feel strong, I feel ready. I feel like this is my time. Uh, there shouldn't be any excuses the day of the fight, so I'm ready to rock and roll. You know, it's just a matter of time now. And uh, do you normally study your opponent yourself or with your team? Or is that something you leave up uh, entirely up to your team and let them come up with the fight plan? No, we all watch videos of uh, Canelo, what he does, his weaknesses, his strengths. And we try to come up with a game plan uh, to fight him. So yeah, it's a teamwork. Everything here, uh, the, Gomez, the team Gomez is really putting all the efforts in to, to win this title. And uh, you know, what do you know about uh, about him, and uh, what have you learned about Canelo? Well, I know Canelo is very young, strong, very determined. Um, so far, he's undefeated. He's strong, like I said, and uh, it's just a matter right now of getting in the best shape possible and try to really bring the fight to him. I know he said his toughest fights have been against Mexicans. It's just that uh, attitude and that heart that we Mexicans have, so I'm, I'm planning to bring that in the fight to make this a tough fight as well. And uh, what was your first reaction when you first heard that, uh, that you're going to be facing Canelo for the world title? Oh uh, man, I got really excited that we're going to face Canelo for the world title. One, because it's a world title, it's a dream of every boxer. And two, because I'm fighting such a popular fighter, uh, especially on Independence Day. So it's going to be a mega fight for me. Uh, it's not only a world title fight, it's a mega fight for me. And uh, you're considered the underdog going into this fight. Most boxing observers, observers can consider him the higher caliber fighter, but that's not something new to you. Uh, how did you feel? Uh, how do you feel about that going into this fight? And uh, does that motivate you to prove the critics wrong? Uh, yeah, I mean, so far I've been the underdog in most of my fights, but I've prevailed. I've shown that you know the heart, the determination, and uh, the intelligence that I carry into the ring really helped me. Uh, come out with the victories. So I know this fight is not going to be an exception. I'm going to go in there and really try to prove the critics wrong. But most importantly, I want to get that dream of mine that I've had for so long. And uh, give us your thoughts on this fight. Do you see the fight going to the distance or ending early? And uh, what's your prediction on this fight? And what kind of fight can the fans expect to see? Well, you know, all I can predict is going to be a very exciting fight. Uh, you got two Mexican warriors uh, going head to head, toe to toe. Uh, one is a champion, the other wants to take it away, and that always uh, that, that, that always comes out to be a, an exciting fight. So the fans are going to have uh, a feast of punches that day, and uh, you know predictions. I, I hope I can stop him early uh, or late. Doesn't matter. What I'm training for is to go 12 rounds of hard boxing against a young, strong champion. And uh, this fight is definitely a must-win for you. What kind of a statement are you looking to make in this fight against Canelo? And how important is it for you to win? Uh, it's the most important fight of my life. I know every fight is important, but this is like the culmination of a 20-year career. This is the icing on the cake, the cherry on top of the cake. And I really won this title. Uh, I, I came short my first time, and I'm really working hard so I don't come short this time. And in closing, is there anything you'd like to say to all your fans out there? I just want to say to all my fans, thank you very much for the support. Uh, every, every single one of you have been very supportive of me. Uh, I know I have a lot of haters out there too. And still, thank you for your love. Thank you for the love you bring to Canelo. But most importantly, thank you for the love you bring to boxing. Because this is the type of, uh, of fans and the type of fights that boxing needs. So thank you very much. All right, Alfonso. Uh, it's always a pleasure talking to you. Thank you for your time. And we look forward to seeing the fight September 17th. Thank you, Ricardo. It's always a pleasure giving us an interview. Thank you.